A data mesh transformation can be a daunting task, everything from cultural changes to process changes to technical changes. What we'll do in this video is we'll break it down into the ABCs so that you can have a streamlined, value-driven data mesh transformation. Let's start with A. A is for aligning your data mesh strategy to your business strategy. When you do that, there is clear identification of what your business driver is for the data mesh transformation. Once you have that, you will be able to know how to measure the success of your transformation, plus identify clear-cut early wins in your transformation. Once you've had the successful early wins, it's then so much easier to continue to build on that momentum and start creating a flywheel effect to build on top further and further in your transformation. As a specific example, at one of our retail clients, we were able to identify that their quarterly goals had to do with being more responsive to their customers. Given that, we were able to identify an initial data mesh domain that we would focus on related to customer intelligence and a secondary domain related to marketing. And then we were able to work very closely with the product owners relevant to those domains, identify the data products that they needed, the analysis that they were looking for, and then the quality data products that we built as a result of the data mesh platform. It really provided something very concrete that the business needed. It provided us as the data mesh transformers, also something that we can then share with the executives as early wins and then be able to provide support for continual transformation across our journey. So B is for bringing people along in the transformation journey. So being able to consult with people early on so that they also understand, you understand what their needs are, and then being able to then craft the journey with that understanding. Plus, since each organization has their own unique constraints, unique strengths, unique environmental factors, it allows you to also customize the journey for that particular organization, along with the people that are going through it. So you might be surprised by some of the ideas that they might come forth with as well to really help accelerate and make the journey satisfactory and delightful in many ways for everybody. Now, one example that I can share with you is at one of our life sciences client, we worked when co-creating our, our transformation with them. And being able to do that, we were able to work with scientists who might be biologists and chemists and PhDs, but haven't gone through a data transformation like we were providing for them. So there were things such as applying platform thinking and product thinking to the work we're doing that was an education for them. For others, perhaps, there was a little bit of unlearning required as well as learning so that we'll help them adopt the new ways of being and the new ways of working. And these are all things that would be new for many. And so therefore, along with that, we would provide trainings and other educational opportunities to help bring everyone along and make it a successful journey. So C, is for cutting your transformation into iterative chunks. Any transformation, when given in a big bang form, can be daunting for your users. So providing them in digestible, appetizable, thin slices will allow for a more successful transformation. Think about it from the perspective of eating a cake. Rather than having just the foundational thick bottom layer of the cake and then having the cherry filling of the cake and then eventually the icing, you can cut it vertically. And when you do that, you are providing from the first iteration a value-driven business use case, which is the icing of the, of, the, of the work that you're doing, along with whatever data products are necessary for those use cases, along with any governance policies required to create trustworthy data products, and along with any self-serve data platform capabilities to serve those data products. And you could be very mindful of what is actually needed for that initial cut. And then once you have been able to deliver that, you can claim victory, move on to the next iteration and so forth. 
As an example, um, at a client, when we're thinking about this vertical thin slice, in this particular case, we didn't need to implement fine-grained access control through, you know, in our initial iteration because that security requirement wasn't there, something that could be delivered later. Initially, it was coarse-grained access control was sufficient for that initial iterate iteration, and then just the right data products that were needed, some other self-serve data platform capabilities like allowing anyone to upload a product wasn't necessary right away. It was more on the data product consumer side and those capabilities. Later, we added more capabilities around data product providers. So once again, cut your slices in a way that will allow for that iterative value delivery of your transformation. And so those were the ABCs of a data mesh transformation. A, for aligning with your business strategy, B for bringing people along, and C for cutting into iterative chunks. Do these three things and you're on your way to your successful journey.